horse, you guys. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to today. We found a horse for Sophie. Let's show him. <laughs> Let's show a picture of him. I'm gonna get a picture of him. I'm gonna show him. I sent it to Brandon. I'm like, this is the horse, Brandon. This is the horse. And you know what Brandon said? Usually I'm like, hey, how about this horse? And he's like, mm, no, Laura. <laughs> I sent him this picture, and he's like, oh, he's adorable. Let's wait, let me find a picture, a good picture gonna insert the picture here he's so expensive so amazing he does everything we love him like we found the perfect horse for Sophie do you like him yeah, he's, a gypsy. he's a gypsy and we love him he does everything he's everything she ever dreamed of the only problem is what he lives in he lives so far away there's no way we could possibly even get this horse like there's none but he's our, like he's amazing you guys we love him so much my friend sent him to me, and we're like, yes, that's the one, but we can't get him. That makes me so sad, like, when you know that that. so, but anyways, after getting excited about this, this horse, and our trainer saying, yes, he's adorable, it kind of gives us more of a direction to go on, right? Like, now we kind of have a better idea of what you want, and, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Penny over there, watching out the window for us. Actually, she's peeing, and then Daisy is gone to get Sophie the cutest thing. Does Sophie have shoes on? Are you on bare feet? No. Oh, good. <laughs> I have on. Oh, she has sandals on. What the heck? We're out of grain? No. Oh, do you need more grain? I have to go get grain. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Sam, if you're watching this and you're editing this and we haven't gone to get grain, then we're in trouble. Oh, actually, tomorrow, Saturday, we're gonna go get grain. What the actual heck, Sophie? I don't know what it is. It is four degrees Celsius. Forty degrees. It's forty degrees outside. Well, Where are your boots? In the car. Why can't you just stop by the car and get them? <laughs> All right, throw hay. Anyway, uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today we are. <laughs> The beginning of the spring break and oh man today? i've been well tomorrow <laughs> gabby's like oh we don't have to do school Not today no tomorrow she's like come on some areas have like professional activity days where they don't have to go to school but not us we have school it's unfortunate but we do but tomorrow and the rest of the week we don't and we have some plans some fun amazing plans we're able to get back at it hopefully the weather cooperates Usually when the kids were small on spring break, we'd always go and do really fun things. Do you guys do that? Do you like, do you, uh oh, come on, Daisy, get in here. Do you guys go and do, oh, she's looking, look it. <laughs> she's ready. She's going to go and chase the birds. Come here. Okay guys, so we're going to be doing how people dress for the winter. Um, so I dress with a sweater and any kind of pants and then right now i have sandals on sandals and bare feet our little mare's field is, is i like it because there's like a really nice dry area areas that they can walk that they don't have to like step on ice or mud and it can keep them out of it and i really enjoy that she found little poop pieces yeah she's got and poop she and she's gone she wants to eat her poop in private she wants to just eat her poop in privacy, and I'm about to deworm the horses really yeah. soon here. And they're off. This is our regular morning routine anymore. Anyway, what I was saying is that I'm really excited to get out here and be able to clean all this up soon. It, everything is still under ice and frozen, but soon, you guys, soon. I'm excited to be back to spring and pretty and clean and fresh. So it is almost spring. And we have successfully overwintered some chickens. We have four chickens. Hey, wait. The gray cochin is in there. It's in the coop. Maybe she's laying. This is the first time we've ever overwintered chickens. I thought it would be like way worse. Thought keeping the water from freezing would be bad, but we got a really good electric water heater for the chickens. Um, I, we wrapped the coop in plastic and it lasted almost the whole entire winter. It's just starting to kind of fall off now on one side 
but it's kept the snow out. We have this big high area here where they're able to stay out of the mud. It gets a little bit muddy back there. But it, we did it, you guys. Like, it's it's been good. And I have learned they do not like snow. Yeah, they don't like snow. How do you know? Because they stayed inside the whole time there's snow. Yeah, they don't like snow. Sam had to come out and shovel the snow out of their coop anytime snow got in there. Because we have this section here not covered by plastic. We don't have any extra lighting in here or a heat source. So our chickens didn't... I want to close that. So our chickens didn't lay eggs through the cold part of the winter, but they've started laying again. And what's interesting is that my dream chicken breed is the Cochin, and they are not prof they are not big egg layers. <laughs> maybe 200, maybe 250 eggs a year out of them. And the other thing is, is that they mature really late. They're they take they're a bigger size chicken. They take like a year and a half almost to. I need to let it get out. So come here. They take about a year and a half to to mature. So it takes them a really long time to lay eggs. So we didn't have any eggs from them last year. We got them at the end of the season. And they were like late chickens that hatched. <laughs> Sophie's trying to catch them. Honestly, Sophie, you can't catch let a chicken. <laughs> I th think that one is laying an egg back there, you guys. Like that's the first time we've ever seen her in here. Can't catch one. But I wanted to show you guys that how you can tell they're getting close to being ready to lay is that their comb and their waffles or whatever those things are called, um, they get really bright red. Their comb gets really, really bright red. Wait, that's not her. See, you can see, like it gets really bright red, but even more importantly, see all those feathers down between her legs? They get those. Anyway, I've been watching and I really think that they're getting ready to lay and I'm excited because we've never got a chicken egg from them before. This will be like our first chicken egg. Like the gray one is in there and she looks like she's laying an egg, you guys. Also, Sam bought a new feeder system for us. This one broke. Usually that's like tied down there and it broke over the winter. I don't know why. And it just doesn't work the same way that I want it to work. So he bought one of those really cool ones that have like the little necks that come out and they put their head in there and they eat and it'll like preserve our food and keep it dry and all that kind of stuff. Even though we don't usually have a problem with keeping our food dry, but we're excited. We're excited that we did it. I thought it would be harder than it was because I'm a worrier and I thought like I would be just worried the whole time that they're out here, that it's cold. And it was a super mild winter, so that really helped. Snow White. We got Snow White here. She's got some yellow. I think that's egg yolk. Egg yolk? What the heck? What the heck, Snow White? Did an egg crack on you? Anyways. So see how she's turning like a bright red? She's got these really thick leg feathers, and those are all signs that she's ready to, to lay eggs. I love her. Beautiful eyes. Yeah, you have oh. such pretty eyes. Oh, thank you, she said. Oh, see, our first chickens, um, they weren't oh. scared of us. They would come sit. Yeah, our first chickens were so nice. It was terrible to get the food and water in. Yeah, so. But they stand at the gate all day waiting for us to come. Yeah. We end up staying at this farm through the spring. Sam wants to move the chicken coop, get it something different, and move it to a different area where we could put, like, a heater in oh. the winter and stuff. Now that we know that we can overwinter and it turned out really well. Um, so we might be doing that this spring if we don't find a new house. My favorite A new farm, but we are right looking are the gray ones because they are like prettier yeah so i think she's really pretty but the chickens that we have right now are really good layers For a uh, drive, you guys know Daisy gets car sick because she's deaf. There's some stuff we could give her. I wonder if it would help, Ooh. even though she does it because she's deaf. Anyways, um, she throws up sometimes if we go for for a long drive. But anyway, we are gonna try and take the dogs for a walk. So Every once in a while, when I get like Daisy, I can't locked you. down, I can like you. right now, we can't. There's nothing we can do, you guys. Like it's almost like COVID when it first started again. It just 
Like the ground is all a muddy and a mess and half of it's icy and half of it's like mud and you can't just go anywhere and it's still cold. And I forgot how painful this was. And our barn where we have the horses boarded are struggling with the season, with the weather. So it prevents us from like even doing a lot there. So we decided the heck with it. We're just gonna take our puppies for a walk and enjoy them and getting out. And then sometimes like going for a walk, it revives us and makes me feel better and more positive even when things are happening that make you feel stuck do you guys know that that feeling she's <laughs> back and she goes like all the way and puts all her weight on me yeah she did not want to get in our other dogs were like yeah we're going and Tacey was like oh no we're not <laughs> we're going she's such a different dog <laughs> the dogs know they know what's happening ruby can hardly contain herself in the excitement molly is like whoa it's finally our day and Daisy's like, let me out of this car. <laughs> you ready to go, Ruby? You ready? You ready? You ready, Molly? <laughs> and we're off. What? You're not supposed to take your leash off. Oh, well. Enter at your own risk, it says. <laughs> the dogs are like, oh my gosh, there was a bunny. <laughs> Here, can I change my dog into her longer leash? Sure, change your dog into her longer leash. So... They're peeing everywhere. They're smelling everything. Hold on, wait. So this is like a, not like a, I mean, it's a public trail, but it's not like a. Yeah, that's what my dog does. She runs ahead. All right, I've run too far. Yeah, so basically the dogs are so different in personality. Molly runs ahead, looks back. Jake looks back, makes sure that Gabby's still within view, and then runs a few more minutes and pees. Yeah, she always runs back if she thinks that she's gone too far. And Ruby is kind of like more of a free spirit and they're all just going to the bathroom. I have bags, I have bags to pick up their poo. You got bags too? You got a knife? Uh oh, look, there goes Molly. Molly! Come on! <laughs> Good girl! So, the only one that it's kind of like a loose cannon is Daisy. <laughs> she just wants to, she just wants to try it. And she doesn't care to go with the other dogs. Like she cares to be with Sophie. We love coming to this trail. It's not very busy, especially like during the day when people are at work or at school and not a weekend, it's even extra quiet. It's an opportunity for our dogs to get out and stretch their legs and really like explore and do stuff. And Sophie likes to be able to like, Train, my dog. train her dog and do stuff like so Gabby and I are more like free spirited and are like just go and play and have fun. I'm and I'm sorry, Sophie's a worrier and she like hardly lets her dog do anything fun. <laughs> She's like, you can run, but just run with me. <laughs> See how Ruby, see how Molly always runs ahead, runs back, runs ahead, runs back? I love that in her. Wait, Sophia's going. So she yeah, might. she might not do it because she sees Sophia behind her. Oh, now she's on a bridge. She hates those. She hates bridges? Yeah. Sophie's like, what's happening? Why aren't we going? Oh, Look, see, here she comes. comes. Oh, then she <laughs> ran to Sophie. She always does that though. Hello. <laughs> Wow, our stopping skills. Oh, I just love to see them enjoy themselves. You're a good girl, Gabby says. She is such a good girl. I do want to say it is very responsible of Sophie not to just let Daisy go because Daisy's not, yeah, like there's water down there. If we weren't able to call her back, who knows what could happen? So it's like super important. I know people with a deaf dog and they've gotten their dog really good took a long time for them to get their dog really good. It took them a long time to get their dog really aware, like, and I have hopes that Daisy will get there too. I know that Sophie's always really good about training her. Gabby wants to 
do a uh, test. We're all gonna start running the well, opposite way. If we made it like two steps, my dog would have seen us. Yeah, all right, so wait, they're, they're focusing on us right now. Let's keep walking, pretend we're walking. Wait for them to run all the way over um, there. Before, since it's fenced in, kind of like these go for a couple seconds. Okay, yeah. Small, they're just peeing everywhere. Okay. No, no, no. Go, 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 We're go. We're running back. Go, go, go. No. Go. Oh, no, I'm about to die. <laughs> the dogs have beat us. <laughs> they win. We win. Oh, we, we, they, we did not win. Molly went no. one. All right. You want to let her run a little? I just let her go. <laughs> so, uh, when we turned around, I got wrapped up in that, in Daisy's rope there, and I thought for sure I was going down. Oh, no. <laughs> that Sophie let go. Thank you, Sophie, for letting me not die. Let go, Have you let the dog let go before I walk over this. I need to pee. Sophia, let go. Do you want us to hold the rope while you go, go pee? Yeah. Let Mark her territory. Let's go. Oh, marking her territory. Oh, she, my eyes what she's happened? like she I was holding on to her. good girl yeah good girl where is that leash good girl yeah good girl come here come on come on <laughs> Sophie brought treats and poop bags and the whistle and the whistle <laughs> the toy. Toy that I tripped over. So try. So we're in this little area where there's no water. I dare you to give that to my dog. Good girl. I dare you to give it to my dog. Alright, try it. Throw it for your dog. We got a little pink ball here. Oh, what? What? Gabby calls her rat and she comes back. So excited for summer. See, Sophie's Sophie's training Daisy now. We just need to work on recall. Yeah, like she's excellent with recall. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> You're the one that doesn't care. Ew, it's so slimy. Yeah. So Daisy is excellent with recall, except for if she gets distracted, that's where she struggles. So she's doing better and better. She's been amazing at it, and she's really good at it. But because I like how she's looking back at me and seeing if she's yeah I do too. But I think the thing that we're missing with Daisy is that if our other dogs don't come as soon as we call them, we can like change our tone, and they're like, oh my gosh, that means come now. But you can't change your tone with Daisy, so she doesn't get that intensity. Well, leash is good because if she's going too far and then she gets distracted, I can just step on the leash. Yeah. Or like grab her, but I yeah. step on it because I'm. But she's just a really good puppy too. Like she knows that she she doesn't. She's a cautious puppy. <laughs> she looks back. <laughs> yeah, she looked back and didn't come when you called her. So you need to make. Oh, there we go. You there need to go. make her come. So this is something. Oh, listen. Good girl. This is something that we've been trying to train her and we've been working on ever since she was young is to always check in. It's one of those things that you use for deaf dogs to make sure that they're always looking at you so that you can direct them. Watch her. Watch her and let's see what happens. So she'll go like a little ways. Oh, she might be going to Gabby. But typically... This is the furthest she's gone. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> Grab her! But typically, typically she stops and looks back, stops and looks back, stops and looks back. This was not, just before this, she did stop and come back. Oh my gosh. Death dog struggles. So now Sophie will bring her back and remind and like reinforce it and make her do it again. The distractions that we still struggle with. 